Hi everyone. In this video, I am going to explain two example problems for the Hayes bridge, which I have explained in the last class. Okay. So Maxwell's bridge, Hayes bridge are used to calculate the unknown inductance. What is the difference between these two? In the Maxwell's bridge, the first term, in the Maxwell's bridge, this first term is parallel connection of R and C, but in the Hayes bridge, it is a series connection of R and C. Okay. Rest of everything is common. Now, we need to calculate the values of Rx and Lx. Rx and Lx. Every value is given. Okay. One thing you should uh, remember. What is that? You have to remember the formulas of Rx and Lx. That is the big task here because these are much complex. So, what is the formula of Rx? Rx is equal to omega square R1 C1 R2 R3. R1 C1 square R2 R3 divided by denominator part is common for both of them omega square R1 C1 square square okay so omega square C1 square R1 R2 R3 and divided by 1 plus omega square R1 square R C1 square so every value is given omega value is given 3 K are 3000 radians per second. So 3000 square, whatever the value is given with you, just substitute into 2 kilo into C1 is nothing but 1 microfarad. So 10 power minus 6 square divided by R2. What is R2? 10 kilo into what is R3? 1 kilo divided by divided by 1 plus omega square this one so 1 plus 3000 square r1 square into 2k square into c1 square is nothing but 1 microfarad 1 into 10 power minus 6 square okay so take the calculator substitute okay you will get the answer 4.86 kilo ohms this is the value of Rx. Okay, nothing is there. Just whenever you are asked to calculate any value, just substitute the values and uh, take the formula, substitute and getting the result. And another value is Lx. Lx, what is the formula of Lx? In the denominator part, I told you same. 1 plus omega square R1 square C1 square. And in the numerator, what we have? R2, R3, C1. Okay, so R2, R3, C1, what are the values of R2, R2, 10 kilo into R3 is nothing but 1 kilo into C1 is 1 microfarad. Okay, this kilo, this kilo, this 10 power minus 6 gets cancelled, 10 is there in the numerator. And coming to the denominator, 1 plus, same, 3000 square, 2 kilo square, into 1 into 10 power minus 6 square okay so again if you simplify these values you will get approximately 270 milli henry 270 into 10 power minus 3 10 power minus 3 henry because in the denominator we have bigger values okay so the unknown inductance value is lx that is 200 270 milli henry so you have to draw the circuit diagram again okay i'm just drawing the arm only but you have to draw the circuit diagram actually the circuit diagram is not a part of the question i have taken this okay i told you already okay i have taken this it's a not a part of this one and uh, this rx value is 4 point rx is equal to 4.86 kilo ohms and this lx is equal to 270 milli henry okay you have to draw the circuit diagram and uh, mention the values that is the best way always now coming to the second type of problem i told you already i told you already um, most of the times you may get this type of question see ad is a coil of unknown impedance ad is a coil of unknown impedance z unknown impedance z only okay he is not asking whether it is consisting of inductance or capacitance he didn't say but in the last at the last he said and dc is a non-inductive resistance of 1 kilo ohm 
and CB is a non-inductive resistance of 800 ohms in series with the capacitor R2 microfarad. Here only you have to understand series capacitance value is given. And BA is a non-inductive resistance, then which is, which is a 16.5 kilo ohms if, and the supply frequency is given 50H. And you are asked to calculate L and R values when bridge is in balanced condition. Okay. So, AD is having Z. DC is having a resistance. So, this is the, let us consider this is the point A and this is point D. Is this one? A, D. So, he has taken the bridge network like this. A, B, C, D. You can also imagine in a different way, but the circuit will be rotated accordingly. It is an, as we have already seen this type of circuit, I am just taking the same circuit and mentioning the points according to the question. Okay. I hope you understand. I am taking the points A, B, C, D according to the question, but not to be according to the circuit diagram. Okay. Suppose if I have taken A, B, C, D like this, suppose if you may have a doubt whether I am getting the same result or not, we take A, uh, B, C, D. Now, A, D is a coil of impedance. A, D. Unknown. L, X, R, X. Next, C, D. Resistance only. C, D is nothing but resistance. And C, B means this one. Resistance in series with capacitance. Okay. And uh, what about this B, A? A, B is nothing but pure resistance. Okay. Now, this is the circuit diagram. Okay, both are same. Both are same. It doesn't mean whether it is A, B or C, D. We, but it should, it should, I told you, you have to consider it in the either clockwise direction or anti-clockwise direction. Okay. Now, the same method we have to follow. We take the formulas of Rx and Lx, substitute them. What is Rx? Omega square, R, uh, C1 square, R1, R2, R3 divided by 1 plus omega square, R1 square, C1 square. Substitute the values. What is omega value? Omega value is not given. Frequency is given. Both are same. Omega is nothing but 2 pi F. Angular frequency. So, frequency is given 50H, 2 pi into 50H. Whatever the value you will get. We have to give 100 into pi means 3.14. How much it is? 314 radians per second. Okay, that is the value of omega. That omega you have to substitute here. 314 whole square into what is the value of C1? 2 microfarad. So 2 micro square R1, R2, R3. All the resistors which are having which you are the values given you can substitute directly. 1 kilo. 800 nothing but 0 0.8 kilo you can write and 16.5 kilo divided by 1 plus 314 square r1 where is r1 here here capacitance series resistance is nothing but r1 so 800 ohms square into what is c1 2 micro square so if you simplify this you will get the answer rx is equal to what is the value of rx 4.18 kilo ohms okay simplify and check whether i am correct or not and similarly lx is equal to r2 r3 r2 r3 c1 divided by 1 plus omega square r1 square c1 square that is equal to same again substitute what is r2 R2 is between A and B. A and B where we have 16.5. So, 16.5 kilo ohms into R3 is nothing but CD. DC 1 kilo ohm. 1 kilo into 2 micro divided by the same denominator part 3, 1, 4 square, 800 square, 2 micro square. So, again if you simplify this inductance value you will get a least inductor value 26.4 henry only okay this is lx value 
this is LX and this one is RX. Okay. Okay, most of the students are doing wrong calculations. What I have observed in my classes most of the students even the formulas I, formula is given and even uh, the values are given sub after substituting many of you don't know the calculation part okay suppose if you are confusing wh what generally people do what generally students do they will directly substitute the entire equation once okay that gives definitely wrong result don't do like that Okay, what a, what a student will do, student take the calculator and 314 square into 2 micro square into 1 kilo into 0 0.8 kilo, everything he will substitute at once. Definitely he will uh, forget bracket somewhere else and he will get the wrong result. Okay, don't do like that. Take individual part calculation. Okay, first take this entire numerator because all these, all these are in multiplication only so take entire the numerator part and take one value something whatever you got here divided by 1 plus 1 plus don't type 1 plus of this square this square this square like that okay take 1 plus some other value whatever you have got after simplification this one substitute individually then you will get good results okay after that after adding this one also uh, x by y okay do like that don't simply blindly do the entire uh, substitute entire equation once definitely you will get prob problem many of times i have observed my students are doing the same problem okay don't do that definitely you will lose your marks okay marks are very very uh, calculated here uh, in the whether you have identified what is the bridge here or not that is the one thing you may get one or two marks for that and formulas are given with uh, two marks and again calculation results part may be given with uh, two to three marks so like that the marks are being classified for any university okay so these are the problems uh, types of problems you may get in the examination for case bridge thank you